What's going on everyone? Dave K here for the biannual Bring Mike Off Disney property event. So excited to get off property with Mike. It's twice a year that we do this. No, it's so not. we're glad to be going somewhere that isn't Disney. <laughs> And of all places to convince Mike to go, Steak and Shake. Check out Steak and Shake here. You can see this drive through menu outlet over here. We've got the front entrance to the Steak and Shake here. Mike's looking for the Disney logo on there. Actually, he didn't realize that wasn't on this one. So there's the Steak and Shake front entrance. Gonna step inside and going to enjoy it. Taking a quick look at the menu here, you can see a variety of different options. If you turn the page here, you can see some shakes as well. Really, really cool to see. And looking up at the venue, really nice setup here where you can see a whole bunch of different seating as well as tables. Really, really nice. So we're going to probably get, grab some carry out here today. It's going to be delicious. So burger wise, Mike's looking at the Western barbecue and bacon here. I'm looking at the jalapeno crunch and a couple of shakes here as well. Check this out. That white chocolate Oreo and the eggnog shake, both of which sound fantastic. Special seasonal options there. So excited to try those as well. And take a look at all these different shake options. We'll have to come back in the future if we like it for some more shakes, but you can see a variety of ones that are available year round here. Really, really nice. And then you've got the light. Look at those sort of headboard lights, like this famous for steak burgers up there. Definitely enjoy the design of this place make you feel like an authentic diner but i'm excited to try some more of those shakes in the future these shakes are going to be delicious i hope now when we said biannual off property stop we only met for five minutes to take the stuff to go so we can go eat them on property so we're going to take our stuff we're on the go here property all the time <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about let's go enjoy some great shakes see how they taste and here is those shakes you can see mike's Oreo white chocolate there looks fantastic with some sprinkles on the top and definitely some Oreo going on the top there as well. And I got a smell of this eggnog one here. Smells super, super delicious as well. They are gonna be great. I'm super hopeful for them and looking forward to giving it a shot and letting you know what we think. So far, Mike and I have tried the fries and the onion rings. I thought the fries were okay, not, not amazing, but the onion rings were very, very good. Definitely could see getting those again. And I think Mike agreed. What fully, do you think, Mike? Fully agree. The onion rings, actually some of the best I've had. Really? Ever. That how, good. How would you rate them? In terms of like on property food or like off property food? <laughs> in, in both cases. Both cases, I give them a nine. Honestly, it is fantastic. I okay. love that flavor. I would get those onion rings immediately again. Yeah. If that's, a, if that's an upgrade, like an easy upgrade from fries to onion rings, 99 cents or whatever it is, I would 100% do it as Every well. Every time. Yep. Every time. Yep. Let's try these shakes and see how they taste. Super excited for those two. First shake to try is the eggnog shake. What are you expecting, Mike? Do you think it'll be good? Strong eggnog flavor. Let's see how it goes. What do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very strong flavor. Eggnog ice cream. Del you know, really, really good. I like it a lot. Uh, in terms of flavored, in terms of flavored shakes, this one very, very good. Yeah, I like it. I feel like it's a good eggnog flavor. Not the strongest flavor eggnog I've ever had. I think it's because I'm thinking of some store-bought eggnog ice cream, which is so super good. good. Yeah, that's the Publix premium ice cream, which is super, super good. But this really does have a good consistency, good flavor. I do like it a lot. I mean, of the shakes we've had recently, yeah, I mean, it's quite good. It's really it's, good. It's quite good for sure. Here we go with the white chocolate Oreo shake. Ready for it? Ready. Better or worse than the last one? Better. Let's try it. I betcha. Wow. Mm, I think you were right on this one. Wow. Definitely think that one is better. Of the two, seasonal beverages at Steak and Shakes, seasonal shakes, white chocolate Oreo seems like the winner. By far. Yeah. Definitely a much stronger white chocolate flavor. I feel like it's it's got a great consistency too. I feel like this one's even more smooth and liquidy, which I like a lot too. Trying my burger first, the super spicy one here. Let's see how spicy it is. On the spice scale, what would you give it? Five. Five. Well, it's upgrading itself a little bit as I'm eating it. It is. Six. Fresh, okay. Fresh jalapeno. Fresh. It is definitely a spicy one. I want to say on a spice scale, I give this one like a four. If a five is like medium spice, but we're talking real spicy, not like salsa. The salsa is not spicy. <laughs> Depends what you define as spicy. I like it, but it is spicy. So hopefully I'll be able to make it through it. Time for the next one. Barbecue bacon. Mm. That's really good. I like that one a lot. 
I feel like it's an all around great tasting steak burger. It's a steak burger, by the way. Really good. That one's got a lot of chewing to it. I do like the flavor. It's, it's got a great flavor to it, but I feel like it's not quite as strong of a flavor for me. Maybe it's barbecue sauce. Maybe I didn't get quite as much barbecue sauce if that was a strong part of the flavor. Mm. But I did like it, the flavors overall. I feel like it's got some good flavors to it. I do like them. I feel like this is a good option if you're looking for some quick burgers on the go. I think that, that overall, this is somewhere I could see myself going back to. How about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the burgers, I feel like, are really good. Yeah. The onion rings win the day, mm. win the whole day, and the shakes are extremely good. That Oreo white chocolate? Oh, yeah. yeah. So good. Look at all these decorations around the boardwalk. I don't think I've ever seen this tree here at the boardwalk, just because I haven't walked by in this holiday season. But really nice to see all the colors lit up, garlands wrapped around the handrails and wrapped around some of these banners around us really really nice to spend some time here on the boardwalk today and just enjoy some of these views some of these calm sights and look they're playing a movie up here as well really cool to see screening a movie on this inflatable screen up here seems weirdly super crowded here on the boardwalk today you can see lots of people around us enjoying a nice calm relaxing night and plenty of people here on our right maybe waiting for this pizza stand as well but definitely a lot more people than i've ever seen on the boardwalk in one night i'm not really sure why that is Walked from that way over to this point. So if you haven't walked that way from the boardwalk before, that's how you get around. Now riding the Skyliner Gondola. Stepping on board the Skyliner Gondola for a thrilling adventure tonight. But that is the walkway back there towards those other resorts. I know I've been asked before by friends where that is, and now you know. But I'm excited to catch the gondola. It's always a great way to get from one place to another. I don't even know where we're going, but it's going to be a fun one maybe play some games at some resort some ping pong or something like that not only am i shocked by the crowds here today going on to the skyliner gondolas at each of the stations there was really quite a bit also kind of shocked and surprised by the number of people they're putting in each car never really been crammed in the car with 10 people before a full 10 it was the full set it was it was a little tight but uh, i'm glad we made it through that one and hopefully the next trip will be a lot shorter it was a couple of stalls on that last one too so looking forward to making it over to the pop century and art of animation is available thank you for flying with us bon voyage one of my favorite sights on the gondolas here is the lake view always enjoy this lake view over the art of animation yes and you can hear the speakers still chat with us here today while we're getting ready to disembark another movie screening on the water here you can see the pool over there to our left and Ariel playing over here on our right. It's been a while since I've seen this film, so I don't remember too much of it. But look at the lovely decorations of Pop Century. Always enjoy this setup here. Are you Team Ping or Team Pong, Mike? Oh. Team Pong? I guess that makes me Ping. Let's see who wins. Uh, uh. Ping. Pong. Ping. Yep, six four. Pong. Oh, oh, 67. Pink. Oh. Pong. Pink. Pong. Pink. Pong. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 98. <laughs> oh. So Mike wins ping pong. Close game. Always a fun one. But Mike is the true ping pong pro. No. Nice job. Oh, got a funnel lid. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's more of them. There's more of them! You get the corner, yes! That was nicely done. Nice vantage point. Here we go. Harry, you're the wizard! There you go, nice lure, nice bait. Thank you, thank you. Don't look right now. Woo -hoo -hoo. Watch out, watch out. Oh, nice camera down. catch! David caught his camera. camera. There's a key, they're all gonna rush in once you activate. Ready? Ready. If you gotta take the key and touch the door with it. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I'm Where's ready! On? You oh. move, you push me! Go, Mike, go! Flame Dramon. I'm taking a burn. I'm taking a burn. The Marble Madness for Mike. Check that game out. Intense game face on. Trying to dodge those evil marbles. And watch out for those slimies that eat you. you. Got 10 seconds. There you go. Nice. Nice. Here's the goal. No. Oh, you got this. Seven seconds. Go, 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 go. Nice. Marble Madness. Ah! Don't eat me, Slimy. He's trying to eat me. Oh! Oh! Gigi. Loving the 
classic arcade games back here. You know Mike and I are having a great time playing a little bit of games. And it's so glad that we came into these back here. Really, really cool to see. Looks like they are not in perfect mint condition, but I am totally accepting it. All right, it's that mini Disney Quest. If you're looking for a little bit of extra games, arcade games, some classics there, I love it. Check out this Christmas tree here at Top Century. Don't know if I've taken the time to look at this one either. I feel like this one's even more meticulous, more beautiful, more attention to detail than that other one we saw earlier. Really nice to see here at the Pop Century. Look at the Santas and the gingerbread men, those ribbons in there, and that giant wreath over there on the wall. Very decorative here at the Pop Century for the holiday season. I like that quite a bit. You can see even in the merch shop, that mini silver tree there, where you can check out some of those little animals on there. Look at those little slinky dogs on there. Little slinky, they are slinkies and they're dogs, so. That's a, that's a slinky dog, right? I don't actually know if I've been in this dining hall either, dining at the Pop Century over here to grab some water. But you can see it's got quite a setup, really large dining area here, plenty of options it looks like, and different registers for people to ring out at. Must be a popular stop. I'm pretty sure this Skyliner sign here is new. Really cool to see this one popping up. All the little details around the Skyliner. Look at the little Disney Skyliner banner back there as well. And look at that, you can see some fireworks off in the distance here behind Mike. Really, really cool behind these buildings. Saw a couple of fireworks shooting off. We'll have to see, ooh, if any more come up here. Just kind of enjoy them. I know it's distant, but I can kind of enjoy them from a distance here. I don't even know if I've seen this over here at the Art of Animation. Wow, beautiful sort of Ariel's Grotto right there in the middle, almost like a whole little playground there. It says no climbing, please, but it looks like you have stairs where you can walk through it and at least kind of swim under it. So I guess you, you don't climb on top of it. That makes sense. But yeah, look at little kids walking up there. Super cool. And you got fish all along the building. Really, really nice to see. Just kind of drop by in here at the Art of Animation and so glad I'm getting the chance to see this one because clearly I have not seen this before. Oh my gosh, look at Crush over there. Super cool to see Crush in person. You know I've seen pictures, but to see him in person, I feel like he's even bigger than some of those other characters. Like for example, Baloo, I feel like looks a lot smaller than Crush does when you get this close. It was really, really cool to see Crush up close. Another dining venue I haven't seen before, and Mike says they have some amazing milkshakes in here. I have to try that one of these days, some of the milkshakes here at Art of Animation. It sounds promising. It's a beautifully designed venue, too. We saw a bunch of different things outside. We saw some Nemo, a little bit of Lion King. We're going to see some cars here as well today. But it's a really beautifully designed resort. And check out the lobby area here. Beautiful lighting as the colors transpose and flow behind that counter. Artwork over here is beautiful as well. Look at these sort of murals on the wall. And of course the Christmas tree in the middle. All a really, really nice look. Really, really nice feel to the resort. I feel like I've been here, but maybe it's been so long that I just don't remember it well enough. But overall, really, really cool place to see. I'm glad I'm getting the chance to check it out a little bit today. Check out Mock Storm here. Really, really cool. We saw this. We weren't really sure how you get in. And Mike found this sneaky door over here. Oh my gosh. I gotta step inside just to appreciate this classic one. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. You can hear the sounds right behind my head. It's a crazy echo. It, it sounds like I'm in a fighter plane. Really, really cool. You can hear other voices behind me too. Oh my gosh. What an amazing system to see here. One of these days, we'll have to play this one. Really, really cool. A lot of action-packed adventures on this 3D screen in front of me too. It's just, it's such a nicely built room. You know, the, the sound effects around me, you can hear me in that sort of echo with this system behind me just kind of reflecting on the circular room. It's amazing, it's crazy. And look, you're sealed out from the outside world. I love this one. Gotta do this one one of these days. This one's got such a cool setup as well. Look at that giant screen with these little controllers here. You've seen me with ones kind of like this with shooting games, but here's a Pac-Man one set up just the same way. It looks like Pac-Man, but it also kind of looks like Galaxia based on the screen. And I'm on this bench here, kind of like a square bench. Pretty comfortable overall, but cool to see. You kind of play this game seated with your colleague there. You ah. play a two-player game and see if you can crush it. I just happened to get a closer look at this screen. I was telling myself, oh, I want to feel this screen. Look at that. They're tiny little lasers all put together so they light up at exactly the perfect time so they all operate together. That's absolutely incredible. I, I did not even realize. Like, look at that. they are just lighting up the green at the perfect times all in unison. Amazingly built. Really, what a screen here. Just seeing on our way out here, you can see Nemo and Marlin as well as the jellyfish 
and all those other popular creatures from Finding Nemo in the pool area. Very cool to see. And Dory up there hanging out with Crush. Crush. Yeah, dude. Totally sweet, dude. A little fishy in the bushes. A little camouflage going on over here. And there's Squirt. Totally awesome. Squirt, my man, my dude. It's Mr. Squirt. What's up, Squirt? Not much. What's going on with you? Doing awesome. That's a really nice Squirt. I like it. And it's interesting to see the ground is kind of squishy here where we're walking in this play area. You got that slide. All kinds of decorations in the Nemo area. Now heading back on the gondolas to close out the night. Mike, was it a fun adventure today? It was. You can kind of see some of this construction back here for the new Remy ride. Maybe you can see that blue dinosaur in there doing some construction and, and some lights we are now lit up around the Perry with Remy over there. Nice to see, oh, a lot of great construction over here in terms of how this building is being built. You can see almost like a little hut structure over there. Thank very, you. very cool. Super weird how the whole gondola system closed. Mike covered a good chunk of this where <laughs> they all closed at 10 even though Hollywood Studios just closed the tent. It is super weird. <laughs> but uh, glad we could enjoy the fun adventure today. Glad we managed to catch our way back on this one. And thanks so much for being a part of the adventure today. Hope you enjoyed today's adventure. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you liked it. And love to hear your favorite part in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of it. And until next time. Have a magical day. And play on. We'll see you soon. <laughs>